I'm Natalie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about gifts, presents, whatever you want to call it. But more specifically, gifts and presents for autistic kids who are non-verbal and don't like playing with toys. My oldest son, Ryan, is going to be seven this year and his birthday is right before Christmas. So his birthday buying and Christmas buying tends to merge into one. But every year we've really struggled to think of a good gift to give him because he is non-verbal, he's autistic, doesn't like playing with toys, like he has his iPad and he's happy but he is very, very active and needs a lot of sensory input to regulate. So that's sort of the theme I've gone off this year. A lot of you with autistic kids will probably have already got sort of the standard things, trampolines and swings. We have a trampoline outside, a trampoline cushion inside. We have a swing outside. He has a sensory swing in his bedroom. Like there's only so many trampolines and swings you can buy. So I thought I'd share with you what we've bought him for his birthday and Christmas this year and hope that it might give you some ideas. So these are what we've got Ryan for his main presents. There's five pieces, three of them will be for his birthday and two of them will be for Christmas. And what they are is soft play blocks. Because Ryan's such an active sensory seeker child, he loves soft play, absolutely loves it. And unfortunately, in his bedroom, he can't have any furniture because he climbs on it, jumps off it, swings off it, and we need to try and keep him safe. So I saw these on Smith's Toys website and I bought one of each and I thought they can go in his room, make it a bit nicer for him, and it gives him something he can run around, jump off, climb on, arrange however he feels and hopefully he'll enjoy them. So they cost between 20 and 25 pounds for each block, which I didn't think was too bad personally. But we have sort of this one is round circular. Then we have a triangle wedge. And then we have just sort of a rectangle block. We have some steps and we have a half circle block. So that's those. In regards to what else you can buy your kids at Christmas, what I like to do with all three of my kids is buy them stuff they need. So this year they all need new bedding, so they've all got a new set of bedding. They all needed pants and socks. So that helps fill out those things we won't mention, <laughs> just in case. Other things that Ryan needs is he has jewelry, so like shoes. I'll take this one out of the packet for you. There we go. So we bought him a couple of these shoes he goes through them quite often and that's something that he needs but he also likes. We bought him this sensory FX fidget cube. Most sensory toys Ryan's not interested in at all. His younger brother or sister end up stealing them from him but the sensory FX ones if you can get hold of them he seems to really like them. Last year they have like big sort of pill shaped ones that do certain things he liked them and they had sort of a flat rectangle ones that you can slot together that do different things and he seems to really like them as well so they're a bit tricky to get hold of sometimes the entertainer will have them in the shop sometimes smiths will have them online this one is their cube and they had it on amazon so i bought it for ryan i'll just so show you so you can touch here it feels a bit funny. It's got all sorts of buttons and different textures. So we've got that for him. Um, straws, kids like straws. So these are straw glasses, uh, just a bit of fun. Wait. 
drinks bottles. So all the kids are getting a little Santa themed drinks bottle for Christmas. And Ryan's getting this drinks bottle because it's the same as his dad's. And every time his dad fills up his drinks bottle to take to work, Ryan steals it and wants to drink out of this bottle over every other bottle in the house. So he's getting one for Christmas. We also have chocolates and sweets. If in doubt, and they have a particular food they like, get them the food. And these are some squidgy fidget toys that I got off Amazon, which I'm going to give to him, but I don't rate them. They're like these squidgy animals that I've seen about. However, they feel really strange and they smell funny. So I'm not convinced he's going to like these. So that about wraps up what we've got him for his birthday and Christmas this year. He's going to be seven on his birthday. So hopefully he'll like all these things. And if you've enjoyed this video or found it helpful, then please subscribe to my channel.